the metaverse. It's a world where people go online and enter a virtual realm as avatars and interact with others much like they do in reality. This realm offers what may be unprecedented business opportunities for companies. How will the metaverse transform our lives? Unveiling the metaverse for us this time are these people. Metaverse expert Takeshi Yamada of Nikkei Innovation Labs which researches cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence and virtual reality. Kiyoyuki Amano, who leads a team of metaverse specialists at Kayak Akiba Studio. A major project was launched this year to hash out ways to use the metaverse in society. The Nikkei Metaverse Consortium comprises of members well-versed in this field. We report on what's happening on the front lines of the Metaverse and how it could transform society. Topan is a major printing company with a 120-year history. What kind of future do they envision? Hello, nice to meet you. Takahira Honda oversees business development at the company's Metaverse division. They launched an innovative service this year. We've partnered with the Hiroshige Museum of Art in Tendo City, Yamagata Prefecture. The entire museum is in the Metaverse. Ukiyo-e artist Utagawa Hiroshige is said to have influenced masters such as Monet and Van Gogh. Many of his works are displayed at the Hiroshige Museum of Art in Yamagata Prefecture. To allow anyone to see those works, they created a museum in the world of virtual reality. Shown are 33 works. There's almost no difference in the hues from the actual works. They're scanned at extremely high resolution, so much so that they can actually be printed. We're carrying out an initiative so that the people can enter the metaverse and enjoy those works in that space. This exceptional scanning technology is an advantage unique to printing companies. This is a very rare work in an original of Hiroshige. You actually won't get to see this even if you go to the museum since it's usually stored away. Ukiyoe can become damaged when exposed to light and because of that, exhibition periods are limited. In the metaverse, there are no such worries. What's more, in storing data, both sides of paintings are scanned, allowing people to see the back of works usually hidden from view. This person is a museum curator. Paintings that we usually get to see directly have been recreated as they are. We believe the quality is very high, including the texture of the paper and the hues. She also says it offers new possibilities for art appreciation. There are other museums that have valuable works. So if they convert those into digital data, it would be possible to get the museums of the world together to hold an exhibition in a virtual space that wouldn't be possible in the real world. 
We believe this would open up amazing new opportunities. This technology is also being applied in the field of home fixtures. Lixel, an actual home fixtures manufacturer, is currently using a rendering engine that we developed. A showroom in the metaverse. It can show how fixtures such as entrance doors will look on the house you want to build. You can see various combinations such as the colors and materials. Customers can check the designs and sizes as well as textures in a virtual space. In the future, they say it will become possible to get a feel of the atmosphere of a home before it's actually built. Customers will be able to actually experience their planned home and based on that, it'll be possible to propose the actual products they want to buy and install. That's one of the best points about the metaverse. Major ad agency Hakuhodo is also stepping into the metaverse business. One of the themes they're focusing on is... Hello. Shinpei Miura is with Hakuhodo DY Holdings, which is researching the metaverse. I'd like to introduce you to what we call Jibun Runway, a virtual fitting room service utilizing 3D avatars. Jibun Runway is an app developed by Mr. Miura and his Hakuhodo XR team. With a full body scan using a specialized machine in just 20 seconds, A realistic avatar that looks just like the user is made. Once ported to a smartphone, users choose the clothes they want to wear. And six different versions of the user wearing the selected clothes walk on a runway. You come walking wearing the different clothes, so you might discover clothes that you may never have chosen actually look good on you. We're designing this as an experience that will lead to a rediscovery of your own individuality. They say the spread of this technology will usher in a future where people will be able to try on clothes without having to go to shops. Realistic avatars have the potential of changing society. Mr. Yamada, what do you think about that possibility? We at Nikkei are also carrying out research and development into technologies related to avatars. And, Ms. Sato, I'd very much like to actually show you how far AI-based avatar creation has come today. I've brought the actual avatar today. Would you have a look? Wow. Wow. This is... this is... An AI avatar created from a video of about 10 seconds taken of Ms. Sato. How capable is it? Partly cloudy. The maximum temperature will be 18 degrees. The cherry blossoms are in full bloom. However, be careful as pollen tends to scatter. Amazing! When sentences are typed in, they're read in various languages. Why did you develop an AI newscaster like this? Well, for example, our work is providing the news. And one issue is whether it's absolutely necessary for a person to always be on standby to read. We developed this because we believe it will be very useful as a technology to be able to quickly report breaking news, even if there's nobody to read it. 
How many languages can this Miki Sato AI newscaster speak? It can speak all languages. <laughs> That's impossible. It's far surpassed the limits of my own abilities. Maybe I can ask it to do my work. <laughs> Established in 1876, Dai Nippon Printing is a major general printing company. What kind of future does it envision for its metaverse business? Hello. Hisashi Miyakawa is involved in developing the company's metaverse business. We at DNP are putting effort into building a town using a metaverse called Parallel City. Parallel City is a business they launched last year based on a concept of town building. We are creating a metaverse that functions in tandem with the real world and we're carrying out a number of experiments to find out how it can be used. This is a virtual space recreating a park in Shibuya three-dimensionally. It's been faithfully recreated based on actual maps and building design data. It's possible to feel as if being in a park in Shibuya while in a different place. They've also created virtual spaces modeled on Kyotokan Plus X, an information center in Kyoto, as well as Kitasanjo Square in Sapporo City, Hokkaido. The National Library of France has also been recreated in its actual size. They say this technology will lead to regional revitalization. Just this September, we opened the metaverse of Ureshino City, Saga Prefecture. We started from the train station in Ureshino City, and our aim is rather than to provide information, to allow people to experience that information in the metaverse. Ureshino City is known for its hot spring baths. The local government requested the creation of a metaverse of the area timed with the opening of a new train station. The Ureshino Onsen Station, the regional gateway, and surrounding streets were faithfully recreated. The city had a clear purpose in creating a virtual space that allows visitors to participate in quizzes and acquire travel information. It's all about building up relational populations. We believe it can be quite useful in getting people who've never been here to learn about this place in the metaverse and interact with others. Relational populations refer not only to people who have actually visited a destination, but also to those who have ordered and purchased local specialties and have a connection to that place. To grow such populations, they plan to introduce the city's famous tourist sites and provide tourist information such as on local specialties in the metaverse. Coins in the virtual space are considered a key item linking the virtual and real worlds. Coins that people collect while exploring the metaverse can be used as coupons to get discounts at local shops when they actually come to Ureshino City. That's the system we have. In the two months since it was launched, the city has already seen a noticeable effect. We've seen many examples of people going to a place in the metaverse and becoming interested in it or discovering new things. So we believe that's turning into a reason for them to proactively come here in the real world. One of the great things about the metaverse is that you can instantly go to a place, wherever you are. I agree. You can experience things and go to places you otherwise wouldn't be able to. 
for instance, space or the bottom of the ocean. Being able to easily experience things that you actually can't is one of the advantages of the metaverse. Perhaps if it's too easy, it might not be as fun. What do you think? You do hear people in the video industry saying quite often that once a concert DVD comes out, there's no need to go see a live performance. You can watch the DVD and see the artist more clearly or bigger. But we don't think that that meaning of actually going to a place is lost. We believe that there will undoubtedly be advantages to real experiences, as well as advantages to virtual ones. PwC Consulting provides corporate consulting services. In recent years, they have been focusing on supporting companies in the metaverse. And what they've come up with is... Hello. Takayuki Nagashima is a consultant in the utilization of advanced technologies. We believe utilizing the metaverse has the potential of significantly impacting how we communicate day to day in our work. This year, they carried out a large scale practical trial involving its 3,850 employees. An induction ceremony for new employees in the metaverse was held for the sixth time this year. Applying that experience, they organized an event in the metaverse to encourage greater communication among employees. They say from the data they collected, they were able to see the effect it had on the company and employees. What's happening in their metaverse? There are two things we learned through this event. One is that we can provide an immersive experience. And the other is that a person can transform into someone else. Those were our two big discoveries. Immersion and transformation. They say through this, work styles may change. First, the possibilities born from immersion. You wear VR goggles and engage in communication in that space. We can provide the environment to do that. So, in a way, you're forced to communicate and can concentrate. This is the result we've seen. A key point is enhancing concentration. In a remote meeting, there are cases when participants do unrelated work out of sight from others and are unable to concentrate. But they say they now have data showing that in the metaverse, people immerse themselves in that world and their concentration is enhanced. Next, transformation. A key point is the forging of interpersonal relationships. For example, you have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with an executive and feel a bit of pressure and end up reading between the lines. It's something that I think happens quite frequently. But with these avatars, everyone transforms into someone else so that even when you talk to managers, that psychological obstacle is removed and it becomes easier to communicate and draw out honest opinions from the other person. In reality, it may be difficult to speak frankly to one's boss. But if that boss was a cute-looking avatar, the conversation may be more freewheeling. The metaverse has the potential of improving the atmosphere in the office. PwC Consulting plans to incorporate data from these trials to support metaverse businesses. Metaverse is comprised of the words meta, meaning beyond, and verse, the universe. It's a new world with a scale that's as grand as it is promising. What kinds of social issues will it help solve and how will our lives be transformed as a result? The answer will arrive in the not-so-distant future. <laughs>